Um, there are three key terms, it seems to me, that we need to work with if we're interested in, in making creative and innovation a habit. The first of them is imagination. Um, imagination, to me, is the key to everything. It, it is, I believe, what's distinctive about humanity. We might talk about this and see if you agree, but I, I put this to you. Imagination is the ability to uh, step outside of your current space, to bring to mind things that aren't present to our senses. Um, with imagination, you can go backwards to the past. In fact, you have a past with imagination. Now, not just one past, but multiple possible pasts. I mean, the whole process of history is the reinterpretation, revisiting the past, and trying to see it differently. If, if it were just a catalogue of dates and events, there would be no discipline for history. There'd just be bookkeepers. It, but history is a contest, isn't it, for meaning, the, 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 the discipline. But you can also step outside your, uh, your immediate way of seeing things and enter somebody else's consciousness, you know, virtually. You can empathise with people. You can try and see things from their perspective. And you can visit the future with imagination. I don't think you can predict the future, truthfully. There are some things you can predict. You can predict when Halley's Comet's coming back or when the next um, eclipse will be. You can, you can predict inanimate possibilities, but you can't predict much in the human field for reasons that we'll come on to after the break. Imagination is the heart and soul of this whole thing. If you, if you have... If you take a young child into the garden at night and point to the moon, the child will look at the moon. If you take your dog into the garden and point at the moon, the dog will look at your finger, won't they? Quizzically. Like, now what? <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? And the thing is that we are born as human beings with this expansive sense of reference, with, uh, with imagination. And it's why, although we're probably evolving at the same rate biologically as every other form of life on Earth, I mean, I can't imagine we're nature's last word, can you? I mean, I hope not, <laughs> really, because there's some stuff that needs to be sorted out, frankly, hasn't there? But biologically, we're probably moving at the same rate. But culturally, we're in a different category from everything else on Earth, aren't we? I mean, if you have a dog, you don't have to keep checking in with dogs, do you, to see what's new? You know, culturally, like, what's, what's happening with you people at the moment? <laughs> well, pretty much the same stuff, really, that we've always done. But with human beings, there's always something new, because we have these, this power. Creativity is a step on, as I see it. Creativity is putting your imagination to work. To be creative, you have to do something. You could be imaginative all day long and never do anything. But to be creative, you do things. It's a very practical process, and it can be anything. We'll come on to it. So one short way of defining creativity is applied imagination. But let me be more specific. I define it as the process of having original ideas that have value. The process of having original ideas that have value. And, and the three terms matter. It's a process. It's not an event. And you can understand and manage the process. It's about originality. And it's about making critical judgments of, of whether this work is any good. All creative processes are intermingled with value judgments. And that's critically important, because you have to know which values to apply and why to what sort of work. I mean, if you're helping children draw, like five-year-old kids, you have to apply relevant criteria to their drawings, ones that are relevant to their development. You know, it wouldn't be right, would it, to take a five-year-old kid's drawing and drag him to the Sistine Chapel and say, this is OK, you know, but check this out, you know, <laughs> really, and don't waste my time, you know. You have to apply what's relevant. So it's about... Process, originality, and value. Innovation, I think, of as putting good ideas into practice. It's the process of implementing original ideas.